Hi there, it's Deborah Simmons here and I was asked a question in the Facebook group earlier, what are the three principles and will they help me? So that's a really great question, but I thought I would just pop in and do a really short video, as short as I can make it, about what the three principles are and how they help people. So the three principles are an explanation for how life works, because it very, very much appears as if life comes at us. And what the three principles point to and explain is how life comes through us. So everything that is happening isn't happening to us, it's happening through us. And a byproduct of beginning to understand this is that our life gets better. So how does that happen as a byproduct? If I'm absolutely honest with you, I don't truly, truly know how that happens. But it's been my experience and it's been the experience of an awful lot of people that I've worked with and explained this understanding. Because as we see our life in front of us, as we see our problems happen out here in the world in front of us, it appears that that is where we need to sort our problems out. It seems that we need to get into the story of what is going on in our life and sort our problems there. What the principles begin to point to and to help you understand is that actually the place to sort our problems out is the place where our experience was created, not where our experience is playing out. So the principles are mind, thought and consciousness and the names really don't matter, it's what they're pointing to that actually matters. They are metaphors or signposts or something to help you understand what it is we're talking about because we're talking about things like love or air or gravity, things that aren't solid things that you can put in a wheelbarrow so that you can just know them. They're things that we're all aware that are there but they're not things that we can touch and pick up. So the principle, if we use the um, metaphor of a cinema, this is a very easy way to understand basically how the principles are working through us. So if you use the metaphor of a cinema, so we have the screen out in front of us and behind us we have a projection box and we're kind of sat here in the cinema watching our film. This is in the days when I used to go to the cinema, not probably in the digital, the way that the digital cinema now works. But if we go back to when we used to have the, project, the projector in the projection room. So you'd have the projector in the projection room, and if it wasn't plugged into a power source, it wouldn't work. So the power source is like mind. We as human beings, to move around, to be animated, we have a power running through us. So in our metaphor, the power is the electricity that's powering up our um, projector. Oh, forgot the word then. It's powering up our projector. So without that electricity, we wouldn't have a film playing out in front of us. So next we have a film in our projector. So without a film in our projector, there would be nothing going on in the on screen in front of us. So for us as human beings, that's thought. So if we didn't have the power of thought going around in our head, there would be nothing going on in our life in front of us. So then the next thing that we have is consciousness, which in our metaphor is the light that comes through the projector and gives us an image on the screen. So that is consciousness. So consciousness comes through us and lights up our thinking and projects it out in front of us and gives us our experience of life. So without those three things, if we didn't have those three elements, we wouldn't have an experience. In the same way that if you went to the cinema and one of those things were missing, there would be no film playing out in front of you. And it really looks when we're in the cinema, it really looks as if all the action's going on there, on the screen. We're mesmerised by it and we kind of, that's where it looks as if the action is. That's where it looks as if, if we want to change anything, it looks as if it's there. But if you go back to that analogy, if you wanted a different film on your screen, if you were at the cinema, you wouldn't go out there to the screen to change it. You would go back to the projection room where it was being created and you would change it up there. Now what happens as we begin to understand that this is how life works, as we begin to get a deeper, insightful understanding of the principles, what happens to us is that that changes our experience. That is like going back to the projection room and changing our film. A byproduct of understanding is that the film that is playing through us changes.